What's up, people? Case Wes here. Uh, back to continue Book of Boba Fett. This is Chapter 3. Um, we ended the last episode uh, with present-day Boba. Uh, looks like Fett's cousins have showed up, so that's going to be an issue. Um, flashback Boba. They uh, successfully robbed the train, hopefully kicked that group of people off the planet or at least uh if they want to use that route they've got to pay the or somehow pay tribute to the tuscans um uh forgive me in advance if i'm not quite as talkative for the next couple episodes it's pretty late here right now and i'm just really tired but um yeah let's go ahead and jump into it out from the trailer Under Master Bibb's watchful eye, Moss Esper was divided amongst three families. The Trandoshans took the city center, the Aquilish, the workers' district here, and the Clatoonians, the starport and upper sprawl. Everyone is waiting to see what kind of leader you are. One of your vassals seeks an audience with you. I am Lord Appeal. I am a watermonger in the workers' district. I like what that is your actor. petition to Lord Fred? Well, with apologies, sir. No one respects you. Enough! Let him speak. And I am insulted on your behalf at the disrespect these urchins are showing you. A street gang of insolent youths has been stealing my inventory. Now, this never happened under the other daimyos, and I am insulted on your behalf. And your inventory is water yes i broke a sales on behalf of the vapor farmers yes they are half man half machine they modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly Jim down where'd you get that water all right it's a crime what he charges then farm your own water who the hell are these kids Look, old man. My name is Boba Fett. You live in the workers' district. You all should be working. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. Look around you. How'd you get such nice clothes? Then you will work for me. You got guts, I'll give you that. Better fight as good as you talk, Dank. <laughs> no, 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 no! They stole from me! And you're just going to let them off? 1,300 credits? Give them 500. What? They owe 1,300. I heard you the first time. Take the 500 and consider it resolved. And cut your prices. The rest of you gather up your gack, follow me. Why are these guys so... They feel so out of place. And they got these... Old school... Retro type bikes. Feels like a gang of... Fucking rich kids. I'm pretty sure this is the episode I saw people... Tweeting about. I don't think they like the little gang here. I like that shot. Protection arrangements are all part of doing business in the Outer Rim. Very well, I'll take payment, be on my way. I've spoken with my superiors on Obadiah. They are unwilling to pay protection to more than one party. We are happy to do business with either party, but we do not want to be taken advantage of by paying protection to both. I'm sure you understand. I will resolve this. You will not hear from the Nikto Sand Riders again. I was dealing with new gangs, both 
the past and the present. It's kind of cool. Uh-oh. And don't tell me that gang already attacked. Oh, shit. He kind of brought that on him, I guess, when he stole their bikes. I don't see the kids. Uh oh, damn, that's the leader. Where's the badass at? I bet he made it. Found his tribe and then he lost it. Oh shit. Boba's getting wrecked. For the help. I really want that guy to be a good guy. Eventually. Oh shit, that's Danny Trail. Here, Hajiti Kesbo Andopa Lay Syndicate. Promised by who? O Magna Puya Karakamakshe. Adwara Wuki Patalopa Kapa. Shacha Kopa. Alright, so is he gonna become part of the squad? I would love that. A lot of feelings. Just business. Take it from an ex bounty hunter. Don't work for skug holes. It's not worth it. Need a job? The space can feel such things. Rancor are emotionally complex creatures. <laughs> Why does it wear blinders? Imprints on the first human it sees. Now that we arrived, I will begin his training. Oh, easy. Easy, That's. I think it likes this. They form strong bonds with their owners. It is said that the witches of Dapamir even rode them through the forest and fens. <laughs> I oh, want cool. to learn to ride this one. You what? I want to ride it. That's cool. Oh. 
yeah, these bikes, they just take me out of, not out of it, I shouldn't say that, but they just don't fit in. And these motherfuckers are so clean. Look like Power Rangers. Cool to bike design. Actually, I may be able to rearrange some of the appointments that aren't as time sensitive as yours. Uh, so if you'll excuse me, I'll see what I'm able to do. That was a bit heavy handed, don't you think? Do you want the appointment or not? Get up! are these guys they just ah they just don't fit in don't seem to fit in I don't really mind it though to be honest Star Wars I mean that guy looks like he's from fucking Hogwarts this is like a steampunk Power Rangers Working with the pikes. Is he? How many? So a dozen at least. They arrived on the Starliner. Good work. Keep an eye on them. Sorry. It's an expression. You don't have to be sorry, mate. I paid a lot for this. I'm proud of my eye. Let us know what you see. <laughs> These are just a first wave. They're going to war. Then we will be ready. Oh, wow. That was kind of short. All right. That was episode three. Um, not really a whole lot in terms of progression of the story in this episode, which. That didn't really bother me. I know this is probably... I think this is the episode that I was seeing the most negative comments about. I'll be honest, that little... The little gang uh, of... They look like teenagers. Uh, early 20s or whatever. They don't bother me, really. I mean, I... You know, there were at least... There was at least one, maybe two episodes in the first season of Mandalorian. Actually, I think it might be... I can't remember. But... There were a couple episodes, at least one in particular, that wasn't really that good as far, compared to the rest of them. Didn't really, I don't know if it advanced the plot or not. I can't remember. This one didn't seem to advance the plot a whole lot, uh, but that's fine. You know, sometimes it's good. It's a Star Wars universe. It's good just to explore it a little bit. Um, that chase scene there at the end with the mayor's number two man, I forget the name, the title, but of that guy, but. Um, you know, that was longer than it needed to be, but you got to see a lot of cool side characters walking around the streets and stuff. Um, yeah, the, the gang, they, they do just kind of stand out from the rest of the world. The motor, the bikes are kind of weird. They're like a, like a fifties and sixties retro American style classic mixed with star Wars, which is, you know, that's cool. But it it does feel a little bit odd. 
Uh, I like the fight scene with the Wookiee. Uh, he just basically beat the shit out of everybody. Like he kind of looks like he would do. He really beat the shit out of Boba. Um, I like that they left it open. If I had to guess, I'd say he's going to come back and, and be part of the squad. They could definitely use him. Um, I like the storyline with the Pikes. That makes sense. You know, they, they've already paying one gang and he wants payment. But they're not going to pay for, you know, protection from both. So Boba's got to go wipe out this other gang. Now, probably the most important part, and, and they didn't really show it very long, um, was the flashback. His tribe was wiped out. Uh, we saw that the leader of the tribe was killed for sure. I'm wondering if that other character, that the, the badass one that trained him, I didn't see him, so I'm assuming he got away. He'll probably show back up. Um, so it's it's kind of cool. We, we see them putting their team together. Uh, I don't know how big of a role this new gang is going to play, but they've already saved him once, so, you know. The acting, the, the, the characters acted was fine. The, it was mainly just the costumes that threw me off. The bikes look funky, but the costumes were just so clean and so specialized and custom. You know, you see a lot of these characters wearing just garb to protect them from the elements. But this gang apparently is making enough money to, to spend a little on fashion. Uh, I did like the fact that they modified themselves with uh, parts. That's pretty cool. I mean, why not? If you're, if you're going to be a gang, you want to give yourself a, a, an advantage. Uh, I like that Boba jumped that guy's ass for charging too much for water. I really like that. I like how they're painting him as a leader like his morals and his judgment. Um, but yeah, you know, I didn't mind the episode. If that's the worst that, that season one gets, then I'm in for a treat because that wasn't bad at all. Not at all. Um, well, that's probably going to do it for me, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, helps the channel, and I appreciate it. So I'll catch you on the next one. See you.